the magic of compounding explained through five examples. Compounding generates comparatively higher wealth because you earn interest on the interest earned in the previous year. Let us explain how through five remarkably interesting examples. According to an ancient Indian legend, there was once a king who was an avid chess enthusiast and would often challenge the wise men visiting him to a game. If the king lost, he would reward the winner with anything he or she asked for. The sage had played chess all his life, accepted the deal and won the game. When the sage was asked what he wanted as a reward, he said that the king should place one grain of rice on the first square of the chess board and double it on every consecutive square until all 64 squares were covered. Sounds extraordinarily little for a reward, doesn't it? One grain compounded at 100% rate of interest for 64 times yielded a return of 21,000 crore tons of rice. The sage thus became the wealthiest person in the world. Let us put in a monetary perspective to the concept of compounding. For the same, allow us to ask you a question. Would you choose one pesa that doubles each day for 30 days or would you accept an upfront payment of rupees 10 lakhs today? We would pick the doubling set. But why? Let us take a look at the underlying logic. This is one pesa compounded daily at a rate of 100% for 30 days. Compounding can multiply the smallest of investments into a robust and sizable portfolio. If this money were to double for 30 more days, it would amount to over 5 crore. Let us now compare the effects of compounding over two different time spans. Let us compare the financial performance of two individuals, Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A starts investing rupees 5000 per year starting at the age of 25 until he retires at the age of 60. Mr. B starts investing Rs. 10,000 per year starting at the age of 35 until he also retires at the age of 60. Who do you think will be wealthier by the time they retire? What if we told you it is Mr. A who will be wealthier although Mr. B invests double the amount although it is for a shorter period. In fact, Mr. A retires with twice the wealth that Mr. B is able to create. Let us now compare different compounding intervals and learn which one works better in terms of investment. Let us assume there are two different assets, asset X and asset Y. Asset X gives a return of 10% per annum compounded quarterly for 5 years. Asset Y gives a return of 10% per annum compounded yearly for 5 years. If we invested rupees 1 lakh in each of them, which asset do you think will do better at the end of 5 years? Compounding more frequently yields better returns at the same rate of return. When comparing two different assets, make sure you know which one is compounded more frequently. Another common conundrum is to choose between a higher holding term and a higher rate of interest. We know it is tedious to do the math, so we will answer this question for you. Assume two different assets again, asset P and asset Q. Asset P yields 10% per annum and you hold it for 5 years. Asset Q yields 5% per annum and you hold it for 10 years. If you invest rupees 1 lakh in both, in which case are you likely to do better? Like we mentioned earlier, time is your friend. Even if the rate of return is low at the same frequency of compounding, Asset Q will yield a higher return despite having half of the rate of return with a lower holding time. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.